Hello, welcome back. Last time, I finally got my business in the lake bed cave done, and tried to do some stuff in the interloper that didn't ultimately work. I'm not yet fully convinced it can't, but that time it did not. Quantum Moon, I see you. I don't see you anymore because you went away. Uh, because I saw you. That's where I want to go today. There's other stuff I could do, but I think that's waited more than long enough. Um, before I... <laughs> gonna bump my head real hard to my ship. <laughs> Before I do that, though, I do want to just check, just so I know. Sixth location. All right, that's where I'm going first. Ash Twin Project. Don't know how to get in there currently. Might have something to do with Ash Twin Warp Core, uh, Warp Tower. Subsurface energy readings. Yeah, tried to go there, couldn't figure out how. The clues are. I don't think I pulled out my frequency scanner when I was there, but on the frequencies, I know. I don't think I. Would have found anything. Hmm. Clary, huh? Right, yeah, so I can recall the shuttle from there, and maybe that does do something subtle, and I just didn't... The subtle shuttle? I just didn't realize, uh... So I should definitely, before I go to the interloper again, recall the shuttle to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. Uh, yeah, so I know there's more to explore there. All right, so there's the text to read in the vessel, the subsurface energy readings to find, the Ash Twin Project to visit somehow, and the sixth location to go to. That's about all my ship log knows about that I haven't explored. So we're, like, getting there, it seems. There's probably still also a lot of stuff that I just haven't explored, uh, haven't discovered in any way at all. There you are. Hi. All right, you... Not a pilot. Take me there. And I'm gonna have to get a good photo of you. Right, so remember how to quantum moon. You don't wanna just... Uh, you know what, that picture is more than good enough. I don't need a great one. I don't wanna ram into it at full speed. I do need that thing in my view. That thing being the photo. I'm, I'm barely seeing the, the part of it that is the quantum moon. Oops. Huh. So I can tell autopilot to accelerate. What if I keep doing this? I try to autopilot from here and nothing happens. <laughs> it doesn't want to try anymore. Alright. So you'll stay there. So right, don't come in too hot. I'm gonna hit it with my nose, as I do. But just go nice and slow. Okay, there we go. Very gentle. Alright, so it's Ember Twin down here. Um, will I lose my ship as I do this? Not really. By the way, um, quantum fluctuations, quantum moon just all over the place. Okay, uh, so I want the shrine, which could be anywhere. In fact, it's in multiple places at once, kinda. Where you be, shrine? That's my ship. Ship is not subject to quantum behavior, of course. Why would it be? That's... Do I know your name? I can probably theoretically figure it out, but I currently don't know it. Alright, so what... Latitude... Ah! <laughs> is the, uh... Shrine at... When orbiting hourglass twins, I wonder. I don't know, but if I keep walking, I'll find it eventually. I don't want to waste all my fuel here. You're not a shrine, you're a... Uh, not a way to go up too high, but that's a good high vantage point, actually. So this is the shuttle that What's-Their-Name took. This one I can recall to Brittle Hollow. Oh, I could get the name on the recording there. There's the shrine. Dude, this thing's shy today. It's hard to get a hold of it. No, no, don't close yourself. Stay open. I mean, do close yourself, but like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm confusing this poor door. <laughs> Alright, so... Lights are off. Beep. Because my location changed. Alright, so I'm... Uh, that's Brittle Hollow. Oh yeah, this poor door. Still making noise because I opened and closed it so many times. Here. Can I fix you? 
So yeah, switch it to Brittle Hollow in here. Nope, you're just gonna be noisy forever because I input a thing weird. Oh well. Alright, so shut. And there we go, sixth location. I'm here. What's it look like? Ooh! Something. Uh, let me turn on the lights. Quantum imaging, sixth location, quantum entanglement. All right, so... Oh, um, well, this is a problem. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, wait a second. You can only visit the sixth location when the shrine is at the North Pole. Oh... Because the shrine doesn't move when I do this, the shrine already has to be at the North Pole for this to happen. Something, something. But how do I do that? So yeah, l let's watch the map. I don't move when I do this, do I? So I'm somewhere else now. Currently on Giant Seed. Nah, I stay in place on the surface. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, since I'm not in the North Pole, <laughs> I can't exit. I mean, let's try this a couple more times. Like, this is the location, but I'm just buried. Alright, got it. So I don't know how to do this yet. Okay, need more knowledge. Alright, there's plenty else to do. Uh, is there... I'm running a little low on things. All right, so Timber Hearth. Timber, actually, which planet am I going to? Uh, Dark Bramble would be okay? Yeah, you know what? Let's use this thing for transport. Oh, a thought. Hold on, maybe I do know how to do this. Okay, so here's Hourglass Twins. Um, that's where I started. The one that got me closest to to the north was Dark Bramble. My thought was that perhaps one that has a potential shrine location most northward I could like spawn the shrine very north. Well, but hang on. It wasn't the shrine location. It was like how far away the mountains are. So I want to cause the shrine to spawn very north. It looks like I did it. And then maybe I can pass through a barrier that existed farther south in some other location. So I want to go to, like, one of these early ones because it was roughly in order toward the this, uh, like, how far north I could go. I could go northest, actually, on Giant's Deep, I think. But, like... Yeah, okay, so I can try, but this is not North Pole. Door is still very noisy. Yeah, not North Pole, can't get out. So I want to go, yeah, sure, let's try Hourglass Twins. So has this gotten me access to something farther north than I could get naturally just walking? Maybe. Yes. Yes, it has. I think I had the right idea. So I got over, like an equatorial mountain range, and there we go! Shrines at the North Pole. Okay. I did it. Nifty. This will do just fine. Okay, I did have all the information, I just had to reassemble it differently. Giants Deep, Timber Hearth, here we go. This is the place. Let's do it. All right, all quantum all the time. The spot with the eye of the universe. Okay, what am I looking for though? Well, just anything. It's, so the shrine was at the North Pole. I'm at the sixth and most secret location. My ship is perhaps, I don't know if my ship is still here. It's not sending me a signal, but like I just don't get signals from anything when I'm here. 
Uh, is there a ship icon on my map? Not that I can see from this angle. Okay, South Pole. Walk from north to south. And this happens. Oh, jeez. It's alive, Nomai. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. Talk to Solanum. Who are you? Okay. You're the third one in the mask chamber, aren't you? Oh, that's interesting. You give me a map. Yeah, scout, whatever. Uh, okay. Know my mask. Whoa. Whoa. I have the universe stone. You stone. Identify. Explain. Oh. Me. Already holding me stone. Um. This is... Amazing. Um, identify. Wow. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. <laughs> There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Okay. Uh, identify you. This is super cool. I did not expect that I would actually meet a live Nomai. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Alright, pretty straightforward. Um, identify... Qu oops, uh, that's fine. Uh, Quantum Moon. It just should go back in its proper place, you know? This is the Quantum Moon, where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay, reasonable. That makes sense. There we go. Got new information. Uh, what's the eye of the universe? In these 280,000 years or whatever, did you understand it? Was that the interval? 281,000, I think. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Okay, that adds up with what I know. Alright, so that's identify. Um, explain you. Explain yourself. Why are you alive? I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Is it a very long pilgrimage, or does time stand still here? All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. So they had some kind of time manipulation thing going on. I don't know, there's a lot. Hmm. There's a lot. What do you know about me? <laughs> Explain me. Who am I? I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system as my clan originally did. Okay. Uh, explain Quantum Moon. Hey! 
Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. Mm -hmm. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Okay, that makes sense. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. Uh, right, so you have to... so it's hard to pin down its location. That's what the orbital probe cannon was trying to do, but it thinks it did it? Hmm. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way the areas surrounding the uh, quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. That's why there are quantum trees in the quantum grove and stuff. Okay, that put together some information I hadn't thought about. Nice. My character appreciated it too. Alright, final one. Explain Eye of the Universe. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Is it going to be you or me? Who's going to do this first? All right. Um, identify, explain. These are the two tenets of Nomai philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. All right, explain, identify. Okay. <laughs> to seek out and to understand is our way of living. So I can't do anything else here, right? No, that's the wrong place. Any other combinations? Me? You. Let's be friends. Okay, there is more. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Not at all. I feel the same. Uh, me is on Quantum Moon. What do you think of that? Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. All right. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, we're gonna do, you are on the quantum moon. What an interesting way to have a conversation. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. Okay. So nobody actually went there. Yet. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. <laughs> uh, I believe it. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Has mine too? I wonder if I've done something irreversible here. Um, let's see. So I want Quantum Moon Eye of the Universe. The Quantum Moon is the Eye's Moon. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. 
From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quant- Okay, so if you want something powerful enough to stop a supernova, something pretty inevitable, then the eye of the universe is exactly the sort of thing you would want. Like, that's my interest in using it to save my galaxy. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Yes, isn't that a question? Okay, permutations. Um, so I did all with quantum moon. I did me and you. I did you quantum moon, me quantum moon, quantum moon, eye of the universe. So you, what's your relationship to the eye of the universe? Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis I may not be entirely alive. Wait. So that was not new, but the rest was. All right, so some repetition here. Um, me, eye of the universe. Huh. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know. Probably would show me a game ending. All right, well, we, we, had a, we had an exchange. I think I'm done. I think I saw all the permutations. I hope I didn't miss any. Let me just think for a moment. Uh, pretty sure I saw them all. Okay. Well, that was... Enjoyable and illuminating. I guess I'm going to walk away now. Alright. I met Solanum. Who stands directly at the South Pole. So I could totally escape this thing's gravity and go up there. Should I do it? Of course I should. Am I going to do it? I guess so. I mean, I just have to. I just have to. How could I not? Oh. It dropped me here on Timberhearth Quantum Moon. Okay. At the South Pole. Okay. Okay. Okay, right, of course, because I just left the, uh... There was nothing special about that. That's just what happens if I go up in the Quantum Moon. Alright, so my ship... was at... It's probably just kind of floating in space now, but it was at, um, I don't think I'm getting back from here. Uh, Ember Hourglass Twins, Quantum Moon. Can I get back there? Maybe not from this shrine location? Maybe not from this shrine location. Let's find a farther south one. S oh, unable to pinpoint location. I cannot open my map right now. That's what happens when I map button. So my presumption is my ship just sort of fell off into space. The quantum moon le Well, wouldn't it have taken the ship with it? Like, shouldn't my ship be... Hold up. If that's Solanum and she, I think, was alive, then who's this? Or is Solanum dead and I'm seeing... Oh, I don't know. There are many questions. Yeah, and what about the time interval? So now here's a way I can escape to Brittle Hollow, which is not where my ship is, but okay. I'm going to use this as an escape. Forward. 
Which one is forward? Is it this? Yeah! Well, something just crashed. I guess that's just Hollow's Lantern throwing things at this planet as it does. Yeah, okay. That's normal. Alright. Oh, jeez. What? Why? What happened? Um, so I noticed I was moving as I was reading that text. I don't know what killed me. Did, was there like a, a Hollow's Lantern impact there or? Well, I guess I'll never know where my ship got to. <laughs> huh. Okay, so I don't think I can just go up there and touch the eye of the universe just by zooming up that like, updraft there at the north south pole in the quantum location. Okay, it doesn't feel right to do anything else today. That was that was its own thing. Except there's one thing I could read about it in my ship log. I think I am gonna, gonna do that real quick. Um, and then what? Just stop from here? I guess so. I've always stopped down at that campfire. Let's see what happens if I stop from here. Sixth location. I met a living gnomai named Solim at the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solinum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Okay, so I can't reach the eye from the quantum moon. I can just orbit it. But in order to reach it, I need to put in the warp coordinates. Okay, right. So yeah. That, that's going to be the end game, probably. The, the game end is putting the warp coordinates into the, the vessel with a charged warp core. So I have the coordinates. I know how to get to the vessel, but I don't know how to charge the warp core. I do need to go back there and do the rest of the reading, and I would like trying putting in the coordinates with the broken warp core to see if it like tells me a failure message or anything. Uh, Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Uh-huh. Oh, entirely. Okay, so in all quantum states other than the... the eye-orbiting location, she is dead. But in that location, she's still alive somehow. For some reason. Okay. And I don't think there's any other... Oh, hold on. This updated... A Nomai named Coleus was standing on the Wandering Rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Okay, right. That was discovered the other day and I hadn't noticed. Alright. Uh, so this is something I know how to resolve for sure. But on this, I don't really have any strong leads. I can poke at things, but I don't have strong leads. And this has a similar problem. Like, the best lead I have for this is the frozen shuttle. Hmm. Okay. So we're getting to the point where making progress might get a little harder. Maybe I'll get a breadcrumb there on the vessel that helps me out with this. Or this. Or something. Okay, so then if I say quit... It does say reset loop, so it'll take me back to the uh, campfire. Yeah, it says that every time. Of course, I know this. <laughs> I just never thought about it before because I always quit from the same spot. Sure. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was an experience. Uh, I'll see you next time to start picking at some of the more stubborn mysteries.